How do you know your dreams are from God? Does God give dreams? There are those that will say that we don't think that God gives dreams. Now, I'll say this. I think that the overwhelming majority of dreams and visions that a person may have are not from God. What are dreams and visions? All they are are simply, for the most part, a collection of thoughts from movies, from songs, from things that you take in, from memories, from what someone says, and then your brain just kind of brings them together, which is why many times you wake up and you think and know that you had a good dream or a crazy dream, but you can't really piece it together because your mind is still working. Your mind doesn't shut off when you sleep. The question is, does God give us dreams? And if so, how do we know? How do we know this is a dream that we should take and apply it as though God has given to us? And remember, the Bible says, Peter gets up and says in Acts 2, 17, he says that it shall be in the last day that when he pours his spirit forth on all mankind, and there's some, de there's some de debate as to who does he mean specifically, or does he really mean all of, obviously all of the believers. We won't deal with that right now, but this part here where he says, and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. Are we, how, how wooden or how literal should we be with that? Should it be that it's just young men and the word that's used here for young men? It does mean young men, but it can also mean youth. Now, the question is that word youth also referred to youth who are men. Uh, we'll just assume for now that it can mean any sort of youth. But then again, it's for youth. Are they the only ones that see the visions and these old men shall dream dreams? Or is he speaking in terms of that young folk will look to the future and older people will have some uh, some youth, some some vitality, some vigor added to them as far as how they see things going forward as well. That could also be the case. But the question is, does God speak in terms of dreams to people? The Jesus says how to pray and he says, and lead us not into temptation. Well, how does that work? Well, it has to be that in some way, shape, or fashion that God speaks to us. There are those who say that God doesn't speak to us. I reject that. I do believe that God speaks to man. Now, does he speak to mankind the way that we see people having them speak? There are some people that, that God speaks to them every day. They have dreams every day. They have visions every day. We'll talk about that in a second. But some sort of way, God does give some sort of impression on our hearts, on the inner man. Why? Because if we're a believer, who's there? The Holy Spirit. So the truth is, all of us dream. I dream, you dream. I have wonderful dreams, as a matter of fact. I have weird dreams. As a matter of fact, I have two very wonderful dreams often. Here to see the Colts of Indianapolis win Super Bowl 41. And sometime if I don't dream about that, then I'll dream about this. Clock. And I know Jerry Jones and the rest of this organization is absolutely sick. Now, clearly those dreams are from God. Well, maybe not. But how do you determine if your dream, if it is a dream from God, how do you know it? Or how do you know it's just a collection of accounts in your brain and you shouldn't take, take it any further? Well, a couple of things to consider. When we see dreams in the Bible, we see really two different types of people having dreams. One those that are not on team team God and those who are on the other team. Those who are on the other team, those who are not believers or followers of God, oftentimes when they have a dream, they don't understand it. They need someone to tell them. Or in in the case of Abimelech, he has a dream and God is clearly telling him and he's, hey, God, I didn't know anything about this, this man uh, and, and this woman. I thought it was his sister, like he said. When God wants you to know, I think God wants you to know but also God wants to show off the power uh, uh, of himself and also use people who are speaking for them to announce them as this is someone that you ought to be listening to. So oftentimes the people that are not of God will hear a dream or have a dream or vision and they don't know what is happening. Think about Daniel. But then you've got people who do have dreams who are on the good team, our team, the home team, and they do know what's being spoken. Typically think about Joseph. The angel tells him about Jesus. So we see these visions. We see uh, Joseph in the Old Testament. Too, a lot of Josephs are having visions, huh? And so we see them having visions and they know exactly what's being spoken of. So the question is, if this is a dream, usually we see in the Bible, if we're going to use that as an example, the person having the dream in the Bible knows it's a, a vision or a dream of God. Unfortunately, today, though, we've got people that have a dream every day, every other day. God is speaking to them every day. 
in dreams and visions. Is that possible? It's possible, but we've never seen that happen, not even with people who we know are having dreams like that in the Bible. And so I would caution you, if you're the kind of person that's having dreams all the time, a couple of things, maybe you might want to start discounting some of those dreams. God is going to be clear in what he wants. And one of the other things you might want to do is if you've had these dreams, these visions, and they have not all come true, maybe some of them have, maybe some of them haven't. But if any of them, even one, has not come true, then it's likely it's not God speaking to you. God is not going to give you a false dream or a false vision. As a matter of fact, God is against that. In Jeremiah 23, 32, he says, Behold, I am against those who have prophesied false dreams, declares the Lord, and related them and led my people astray by their falsehoods and reckless boasting. Why? Because if you have a false dream or a false vision, and you come and you tell everyone that it is from the Lord, well, then what have you stated? You have stated what God has not stated as though he did state it, and that becomes a false prophecy. Don't do that. God takes that very serious. So one of the other things you also want to look at is you might not be trustworthy. If you can't, if you can't handle or be trusted with your own dreams and they come out to be false or you're constantly having them, you might be someone that God is probably not going to speak through through a dream. But does that mean he won't speak to you for your own personal situation, that you can be quieted? Job tells us that he also gives these dreams to warn people. In other words, it can be used as a warning from God and unsettling from God, or it might be a comfort. God might comfort someone in, re in relation to a dream. Sometimes it's good for you just to sit back and listen to what you think the Lord is saying to you, and do as Mary did and just ponder on it. Sometimes your quiet is fine. Going out and telling people that you had a dream from the Lord might not be the right idea to do. Many times these dreams that you might have may simply be something that you want anyway. You want a spouse, you want a house, you want a new job, you want to move. And so you have dreams that are like that. These become self-fulfilling prophecies. In other words, you want, to, you want to move, you have a dream about moving, and you move, and you say the Lord said, I wanted you to move, and it's just simply you. You read books about something, you watch movies about something, you listen to songs about it, you listen to your friends talk about it, and it's what you want, and so you, you associate that with being from the Lord, and it might just be you. So what should you do if you have a dream and you're just not sure if it is of God or not? Well, James says, if anyone lacks wisdom, let them go to God and ask of God. If God gave you a dream, who better to go to than ask, Lord, did you give me this dream? What does this dream mean? If Again, if you don't really understand this dream, well, then possibly it's not from God because we see in the Bible, typically the dreams that are not understood by the dreamer is, not, is, is for people who are not of God. And people who are of God, when they have a dream, they do understand it. Again, sometimes dreams can be confusing. There's just all these different thoughts that are moving throughout our brain as we sleep. It might just be that. Also, consider going to someone and ask them, listen, I keep having this dream. Should I make anything about it? Maybe you all can go together and just pray about it together. It's always good to have someone who you trust, who is wise. If it's someone who is not prone to having a bunch of dreams themselves and who are looking for dreams to happen, if this is a person who is sound and wise and reserved, that might be a person you might want to ask as well. It's good to have some extra counsel, but going to someone who's looking for hidden deep things of the Lord, that can be a problem because you find yourself looking for the answer to a question that has never been posed by God. So be careful. So can God give you a dream? I think he can. Is he giving you a dream? That's the big question. Are you looking for dreams? That's a problem. And if that's the case, well, then you might want to step back and just simply just stay in the word. Because I can promise you, if it really is the Lord trying to reveal something to you, he's going to reveal it. But don't you try to force something and then blame it on God. Say it's God, because then everyone is going to treat you. They have to treat you as a false prophet. Amen. <laughs>